In this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do the hemming stitch. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog. This is a project that I'm working on at the moment, it's a pair of pants and um, I'll just explain to you what the hem is. Now this is where you fold up the end of the fabric here and you create a fold in order to give it a finished look. It could be as small as this, even smaller or even longer than what I've got it. Now in order to keep it in place, what I've done is put a basting stitch all the way around the um, width of the pants. You can either put it along the fold line like I've done here, or in the middle, or even along the line where you're actually going to be doing the stitch. Now in order for you to actually do a hemming stitch, you need to have your work wrapped around your finger. So you'll be getting the fabric like so. So you get it across those three fingers and your little finger holds it in place and then you can do the stitching that way. I'll actually show you how that's done. Now this is the other leg and I've actually done the hemming stitch to this one. I just want to show you how it looks like. Now this is the right side of the pants and as you can see, hardly, I'm proud, I'm so proud at the moment, hardly any stitching, any trace of stitching to the right side. Now this is what it looks like on the inside. So I've made a good choice of fabric there because you, can you can't even really see the stitching at all. So that's what it looks like when it's finished. Now I'll show you how to do the hemming stitch. Right, I'm going to show you now how to do the hemming stitch. Now I'm going to wrap this around my three fingers there and I'm going to hold it in place with my little finger. There. So you're creating like a firm base in which to actually do your work. Now that's quite firm there. And now I'm going to get my needle. And you kind of like um, spacing it out between one centimetre and I believe it's a 3.8 of an inch. I work in centimetres, I do. And then pull it through. Right, so you've got it in the actual turn up of the fabric and now you want to take up at least just one strand, two at the max, of your thread. It's really hard to be getting this at the moment. You'll find it a lot easier when you haven't got a cameraman <laughs> camera in, in the way of your work. And then just go under the fold and pull it through. I'll show you one more time. Right, so you're going to come about a centimetre, which I believe is three-eighths of an inch. Get one strand, if you can. If not, two will do. No more than two, I would recommend. Go under the fold and then pull it through. And pull your work. And then as you move, move your work and then trap your finger there to keep it from moving and to create a firm base. I'll just do one more. So I'm going to come about a centimetre, three-eighths of an inch, find one strand, pick that up and then I'm going to put my needle under the fold and position it about a centimetre, three-eighths of an inch and pull it through. Very so, you, so you've got slanted stitches and that helps to secure it as well. Now Let's see what it looks like on the right side. Oh wow, yes I've done pretty well there. See I've took about two there, so you can see a little tracing of there, but that's pretty good. So that's what you want, you know, you want it to be as invisible as possible on the right side of your fabric. There, that's what you call a hemming stitch. That was the hemming stitch, I hope you found it useful and easy to do. Um, please do contact me. And if you prefer, on my beginners page, I've got an interactive chat box, which is kind of like live. And you can ask me any questions within that area also. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.